This summer, before you hit the beach or tanning bed with hopes of bronze skin, consider this. A tan is the body's attempt to protect itself from sun damage. Whether you have dark or light skin, the truth is that sun exposure can lead to sunburn, premature aging, and skin cancer. Fortunately, using sunscreen properly can help protect your skin all summer long. A 2012 study in the American Chemical Society journal Environmental Science and Technology pointed out that only one out of three people use sunscreen regularly. The first commercial sunscreens came out during World War II, when U.S. sailors used zinc oxide to prevent sunburn. Sunscreens protect your skin from UV light, a type of radiation emitted by the sun. UV light can damage skin cells, causing sunburn, not to mention moles, age spots, freckles, and wrinkles. Two types of UV light can damage the skin, UVA and UVB. UVB affects the surface of the skin and is the primary culprit for sunburn. UVA penetrates more deeply, causing long-term damage like wrinkles and age spots. Both types can cause skin cancer. So what happens to these harmful UV rays when you apply sunscreen? Sunscreens can either absorb UV rays or scatter them off your skin. Sunscreens that scatter UV light often contain titanium dioxide or zinc oxide. Sunscreens that absorb UV rays contain a mixture of substances that absorb both UVA and UVB rays. But that's not always the case. When you buy sunscreen, check the label to make sure that it's broad spectrum sunscreen that protects against UVA and UVB light. Two UV ray absorbing molecules often found in sunscreen are octanoxate, which absorbs UVA, and avabenzone, which sucks up UVB. When UVA or UVB light hits either molecule, their electrons get excited. When the electrons settle down, so to speak, and return to their original energy levels, they give off relatively harmless amounts of energy in the form of heat. When you're shopping for sunscreen, look for a three-letter acronym, SPF, or Sun Protection Factor. This number tells you how much protection from UVB rays you get from the sunscreen. For example, wearing SPF 15 delays the onset of a sunburn for 15 times longer than if you didn't wear any sunscreen at all. But since sunscreens can rub off, dermatologists recommend you reapply every two hours and after you swim or sweat. You don't need a really high SPF to provide good protection from harmful UV rays. A sunscreen with SPF 15 already protects the skin from 93% of UVB, and a sunscreen with SPF 30 protects from 97% of UVB. SPF only refers to UVB protection. So remember to get the broad spectrum stuff to make sure you're protected from UVA rays as well. Since higher SPF values provide less added benefit, less expensive sunscreens with SPF values under 30 can protect you for a bargain price when used properly. So slather on the sunscreen the next time you head to the beach. Your skin will thank you. And if you still want that tanned glow without the risk of sun damage, reach for the dihydroxyacetone. It's the main ingredient in sunless tanning lotion.